Hey everybody, it's Shelly. I'm going to give you a warning. This video is going to be longer than usual, but it'll be well worth your investment of time. Thanks to Amy with Constant Contact for pointing this out at that I should make a video of this. Basically, when we are on Facebook, we are being tracked, tracked, tracked by lots of companies. I'm going to show you how to block those companies. Some you'll want to block, some you won't, but at least you'll be able to edit what information they can get about your personal information by watching this video. So again, it's going to take a little longer. I'm going to slow down and walk you through it and then show you live how it goes on Facebook. So the first thing is most people, including myself, forget that when we use an app or sign into a website, website using Facebook, these comp we're giving these companies permission to look at our Facebook profile. I'm going to show you how to change that. Your profile and mine contains lots of information, including our phone number and our email, as well as any work history and location. And most people don't realize that if we're sharing that data with our friends, then any apps used by those friends can see that data as well. So a little bit mind-blowing. Thanks to Jim Edwards with Business Insider for this, uh, explaining this tip, tip in detail so I could help you with it. Uh, and if you're worried about your privacy on Facebook, you can do one of two things or both. You can opt out of ads tracking you. And secondly, you can look up the list of app companies that are logged into your Facebook account and you can edit that list. I'm going to show you both in this video. All right, the first thing is you're going to go up to the very top and you're going to click on that lock box up there. And when you click on that, um, excuse me, the drop down, not the lock box, you're going to see settings. And in the settings, You'll open that up and you'll see on the left hand side ads. That's where I want you to go. I want you to go to the drop down settings and ads. When you're in the ads section, you will see three options. Ads based on your website and apps, how you use different websites and apps. Facebook's going to serve us ads. There's nothing we can do to get away from it. So you can't go in and say no here, but you can go in and at least make the ads based on your interests. But the second one, ads with my social actions, you can go in and say, do you want your friends to see your social actions and go in and say nobody can see that. Um, so make sure you go in, check that out, and then once you're in, in there, it'll give you the option to select only my friends or what I've selected, no one. And don't forget to click Save Changes. Okay, now for the apps, and I'll go live and show you this. Now the apps, when you are go to the lock box, you'll, you'll see more settings. Now the dinosaur, the Facebook dinosaur, can walk you through, but I suggest you go to see more settings. It's a little bit more detailed. And when you click on see more settings, you'll see on the left apps. You'll go ahead and click on that, and it'll open up all the apps I have to be honest with you, when I opened this up a couple weeks ago, I saw 140 apps that could look at my stuff. How do I know what they can see? Well, when I hover over any of these apps, I'll see a little, like Houston's POV, I'll see a little pencil or an X, which means I can edit what they can see or I can totally kill that app if I want to. What that looks like, as an example, is YouTube is an app that I use, and it has a whole list. Now, some of the stuff you have to let them see if you're going to use the app, such as your public profile. You see that's grayed out. I can't uncheck it. But all this other stuff, my friend list, my email address, my all that, I can uncheck if I so choose. I don't want to get rid of my YouTube app, but I sure would like to edit it. And notice I have only me. When I use the app, no one's alerted that I'm using that app. Okay, the next thing is to get rid of that, you're going to hover over one of the apps and you'll see the little pencil in the X and you can either completely delete it or at, um, edit it so that no one can see all the information out there. All right, let me take you live and I will show you everything I just talked about. All right, so I'm just going to, for grins, go to my news feed, which is where we land. And the first thing I mentioned is you'll have the little drop-down arrow. You'll click down the arrow. You'll click on Settings. 
and over on the left hand side you'll see ads you'll click on ads and there are the three things we talked about again you could go in and edit but you can't change the status because your ads will always be on and if you say I only I if you say off it's basically going to show you any ads they want it, it you can't totally turn it off so you might as well have part of that um, the ads that are based on your interests and then ads with social actions is you can go in and say if I like another page I do not want anybody to see that so I basically say my friends or no I don't want anybody so that's how you edit that one the second one the big kahuna is when you go to the lockbox click on the privacy shortcuts there's Mr. Dinosaur you want to click on see more settings and when you click on see more settings now you go to the apps right here click on the apps and right now I have 25 I had 140 and click on show more so you can see all of them and when you look at these and you hover over each one has a pencil and an X if I click the X it's going to totally remove that app if I click the pencil it's basically going to show me the visibility uh, for audience and of course only me this means that Facebook can't let people know that I'm using this app but the app itself can see my public profile my friend list my email my newsfeed every one of these things that are checked and there are a lot of them so you can go in and say no I don't want this app seeing my email address I don't want this app seeing my friend list I don't want this app seeing this and I don't want it making posts and I don't want likes and everything else you can go through this and don't forget to click save and now that app will have it's still there the YouTube app as you see is still there but now when I go to edit it you can see it has more limited um, access don't forget to click save on when you do this um, that's really pretty much it I know this was a very long video today but there was a lot of information I wanted to cover with you uh, if you are interested in some of my classes here in Houston and I do do a webinar every now and then the best way to get a hold of me is through um, ShellyRoth.com or go to Shelly Roth click on the calendar and you can see what's coming up in Houston or on the web or send me an email at sroth at shellyroth.com check out my Facebook page any questions you have on social media ask them on my Facebook page and I'll try my best to answer them have a great weekend sorry this was so long but I really shouldn't say sorry I retract that this is stuff we need to know again thanks to Amy Oliveri with Constant Contact for pointing this out to me and asking me to make a video about it Peace.